For this adventure, we're going international. Cycling the Niagara Peninsula offers great views of Niagara Falls, wonderful wineries, and large ships navigating the Welland Canal locks. The Greater Niagara Circle Route is in total 86 miles long. In 1925, completion of the Erie Canal in New York State meant that cargo from the Upper Great Lakes was about to head down the canal to New York City, bypassing its previous destination, Montreal. Canada, not wanting to lose their transportation route, started construction on the Welland Canal in 1825, and it opened four years later, allowing ships to bypass Niagara Falls and conquer the Niagara Escarpment. It's worth noting that the present canal, which is the fourth iteration, first opened in 1932 and provided the impetus for a lot of Canada's economic growth during the last century. Earlier versions of the canal were completed in 1829, 1854, and 1887, but these could not accommodate very large boats. The current canal can handle ships up to 740 feet in length, and it usually takes 9 to 12 hours for a vessel to go through the canal's eight locks in transit the entire system. That's where we just came from. We're climbing the stairs to the top of this lock. That doesn't have any ships in it. Between Port Weller on Lake Ontario, south to Port Colburn on Lake Erie, eight locks are gonna lift vessels 326.5 feet over the Niagara Escarpment.
The Friendship Trail is an old rail line that's been converted to a multi-use recreational path, and it connects Port Colburn with Fort Erie. This is a new thing. No way, you're gonna ride through this. Oh! Well, most of this trail has been in the open sunshine. It's flat, it's easy. No, I don't see any beaches, like advertised. The first time the trail connected to beaches and Lake Erie was when we got to Fort Erie. Okay, well, we made it to Fort Erie, and there's Lake Erie, right there. Buffalo you can't see, but it's right there across the way. East Bridge, just a little view. Yeah, thousand around the corner. Around the corner. This trail was okay. It certainly was flat and an easy ride. Yeah. Oh. We are going to go back to Port Colburn, though, where we started our ride. And it's kind of hot today, so there's not a lot of amenities on the trail. Uh, yeah, a, a couple, couple of gas, gas stations. You could probably get off in Richmond. Is that the name yeah. of the town? Probably get off in Richmond and find some food. We didn't stop, but we'll see. We didn't actually ride the waterfront trail because we wanted to take some time for our wine tour. The Canadian side of Niagara Falls isn't anything like the American side. It has large casinos, multi-story hotels, it's kind of like a Vegas setting.
there's the Horseshoe Falls. Okay, here we are just on top of the Horseshoe Falls, I guess we call it. Well, we're only half an hour into our trip and it's been a real pretty ride so far and we're just gonna see how far we can get to Fort Erie I don't know if we're gonna go all the way it's a really hot day It's a little hot and sticky today, but with the lake breezes, it's real comfortable. Um, we're enjoying our ride. What do you think about riding along the Niagara River? Oh, the first part of it, especially when it's going near the falls, is, is pretty. It's all pretty, I guess. The, the part down here is more just riding by the river. And fancy houses. Oh, God, real fancy houses. Mm -hmm. 